People have been finding these strange figurines all over the Pacific Northwest on beaches and in forests and lakes. They don't look like anything that we see in the archeological record here in Washington. They all seem to have the same face they seem to be forming a circle with their arms, but they were always found in fragments. We got several emails about this, and there's also more examples of them popping up on chat rooms online. What is going on here? Why are all these fragments of figurines showing up in Washington and Oregon? There are some examples in museums in North America and Central America that look similar to this. They have a circular form with four to seven figures all locking arms around a central figure. So there does seem to be an archeological root to this style. But the examples we're seeing that are broken up into little pieces, they don't look like that at all. And they all look the same. They look like they've been mass produced for the tourist market, which they are. We found out that this is actually a known type of souvenir from Mexico called a Circle of Friends candle holder. People are saying they bought them in the American Southwest and were told they were Hopi. I have no doubt that people around this country and maybe even in Mexico itself are finding these and getting them confused for artifacts. I guess the question that remains is how did these end up in these random places? Where is the rest of the candle holder in each of these situations? Everything has a story and we excavate historic sites all the time that are maybe only just a hundred years old and they would be full of mass produced souvenirs or trash. That's archaeology is, is just people's trash and people's stuff left in the ground. So eventually these Mexican candle holders will be archaeology and they will tell us something about globalization and the influence of cultural art objects.